And three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. This is your Socratic Dialogue once again. Uh, this week we're talking about sampling. So, fun fact, Vish. So I guess, hmm, would you call it sampling? Well, it was definitely sampling what you did back in the day. I did a mix of both, right? Okay. Yeah. So fun fact, Vish was really into um, sampling and producing way like, back like way back we're talking about beats here yeah. beats 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 yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> why what else is sampling and producing drugs i was about i was about to say sampling drugs and produ- that's so funny <laughs> that's so funny i was literally about to say that um but yeah so like i remember my my vaguest memory is yeah. like you with that m audio keyboard and pad that big thing Do you still yeah have uh, that? yeah i still have that okay yeah, that that thing I still have that. And uh, you were, you'd make beats off of, so it wasn't GarageBand. You were using the Pro version, which is Log, uh, Logic. Yeah. So you I think would, I, I got that when I uh, got the uh, the new computer. I decided to buy that. The Dell or what? what is no, you, no, 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 no. So like, like with the Dell, that's what I got like, uh, like different PC, um, like uh, versions, okay. I guess, of something that does the same. Yeah. Um, like, do you ever use like Fruity Loops? Uh, I tried. I, know, I tried, I tried the trial. That's uh, not something I was used to, so it was not intuitive enough to for me. I yeah, guess. for sure, for sure. Uh, and uh, I got like different types of programs that um, gave you samples as well. Okay. So like from that is where I started. Like I remember the remember the first like the song that I made. Uh like have it. <laughs> yeah, so like oh. yes, like look, but that was taking so that was uh, I and, believe and your brother, I got like, the, on it. Yeah, yeah. But I I got that beat was by sampling, took it off a song uh-huh. and I manipulated it a little bit so it doesn't sound the same. That's funny. But so did, I didn't realize, did you know it was sampling, or were you I didn't just like, know. Oh, I'm just chopping this up. No, because I was like looking for a loop, and this was, I, I guess like it was the like problem solving thinking was like let me just let take me a take loop. it off this song that I like, and then I just played with the tech that was there. Then it just happened to sound different than what it was. So it was just like playing around, right? Right. And then right, it was right. just by happenstance it happened. Yeah. See that that's the fascinating thing. Like okay, so that's what you were doing. How old were you? You were like really young. I was like in high school. <laughs> Yeah. That was high school. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was some weird. And I remember that because you'd like bring us up to your room. Like, <laughs> and then we'd like listen to your beats. It's yeah. like, oh, this is so intense. Like, right. Um, I wasn't playing guitar at the time, I don't think. I remember you were out of it. Wasn't playing? All right. But, I, and then I remember like we collaborated a bit. You'd, you'd like make these drum tracks that I would play guitar over. I still have them on SoundCloud, like right. the ones that we made. Yeah. Um, but, but okay, just to go back to that one. What I remember, because uh, it because it kept it was you you heard like different uh, times of that when I was making that song. Okay. Uh, and then like when I broke it down, I think I showed you. I'm not sure who else. Like, uh, and it, it like, helped too because you played piano. Yeah, you yeah, like you yeah. played so, piano like aggressively. <laughs> you were like into that piano. Right. Yeah. Uh, like you didn't uh, like when I started to break it down. Like look at all the different layers. Okay. I yeah. think I showed you that, right? And you're like, and I think it was either Brent or you is like, oh, you're spending like too much time. Like, like you have a lot of time on your hands, like something like that. Oh, no, I don't think it was me. No, no, probably like, Brentley. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, probably Brentley. But it was, it was like a, as a joking way, right? It was just like, but like now if you look at like, that's how all songs are. Yeah, I, know, I didn't because, know I was doing that. that. That's the crazy. All right, so that's the crazy. Because you can keep on adding and adding and adding. Adding layers. Yeah, so like, uh, so I recently got back into like, Sam, like I wouldn't even okay. So, in the day, back in the yeah. day, I thought people actually wrote these tracks all from scratch. So I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm never gonna be that good at like mm-hmm. piano or like saxophone or whatever, right? Or like I'm not gonna work with all these musicians. So why don't yeah. I just play in bands? Because that's why I started doing it. Because I was like, okay, I can play guitar. And then from that, I was like, okay, well, I need a bass player. So let me learn how to play bass. And like I started to buy all these instruments myself. Remember, I had like the full band set up yeah. and then people would just come over to practice. Remember that? So it was like, yeah, that was yeah, my yeah. version of like beat production. Right. Then, Cause I, I did, I thought people literally made these by themselves. So like right, right, when right. I try and make these beats myself, like through the trigger pads and stuff, I was like, Oh, this is so difficult. Right. 
Cause like, oh, like, cause okay. I was using Fruity Loops and I was like, how do people make these, like, these I thought crazy that too. Beats? I thought that too. Like, I, I thought I was the one just like finding a way Cheating to. Cheating or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but, but then that's why I started to like, we got like the mixer and then we started recording our own like full songs. Cause yeah. I was like, well, this is literally the, this is how they do it in the studio. Right. And then, so I recently got back into, to like music production because I was like, I was but watching were, all these videos. But, oh, actually I watched Masterclass. Uh, oh, Timbaland's masterclass. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's all you're doing? So I was like, oh, you're just like layering your own vocals and like you're just adding layers on layers on layers. Right. And like, but I, that was unique to, to Timbaland, right? Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, like, so I was like, okay, maybe there's something to this. So mm-hmm. I was like, I wasn't fully sold on going back to music, but then like I started watching like Genius's videos on like how they made the beats. Right. And every single one was like, yeah, I found this sample, this loop. And I'm like, what? That's all you guys are doing? Like, I thought, I literally thought, but I watched, like, so many music, like, producer videos where, like, they're, like, getting these samples, and I didn't realize what you're doing is you're getting these, like, old tracks, and you're remastering them Mm -hmm. to use them again. You know what I mean? So, like, you don't actually have to play these instruments. You just have to understand how to problem solve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, puzzle solve. That's Like, I I see sampling as, like, it's, like, a mixture of Photoshop and problem solve, uh, puzzle solving, right? Because mm-hmm. you're like, you're like, okay, the Photoshop is the layers you're adding, which is like the effects, or like you're you're detuning it, you're like upping the tempo, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Right. Or like, oh, let me add like a phaser so that it sounds like more futuristic. Let me up like the the kick drum. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. so like that's like the Photoshop element, and then the pu- puzzle solving is like you look at the grid and you're like, okay. Where do I move these pieces around to make them sound really cool? But they're literally just layers. It's not. I'm not even playing instruments. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, it's interesting that watching even the old school people, that's how they did it, which is what you were doing. Yeah. So it's like you were I onto didn't even something. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You were know. onto something that that's that's what you were onto the same thing that they were onto. Mm. It's sort of like um, you ever hear this collective consciousness thing where it's like if you if somebody solves a math problem in one part of the world, then somebody else will solve it in another part of the world. Right. It's, it's almost like we're just, these are just like natural solutions that yeah. we would have come up with. Right. So like your natural solution is the exact same natural solution that they had. Right. But you thought you were cheating, right? Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. I guess maybe back in the day, like people thought they were cheating too, mm-hmm. you know? Cause like I watched Skrillex with um, uh, The Doors and they were like, oh, this, is, this isn't really music. Cause you're just like, editing sounds mm-hmm. on your laptop okay right to make music whereas yeah. we actually played music right see what i'm saying yeah, yeah so yeah. it's like are you a musician would you say that or are you a creative person like what would you call that person that's like just like chopping things up well and i would say musician that's why i would say musician too but it's it's like you're more of like a it's a different producers style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's why they have like producers and then i'm i've always been in not always but like ever since i started hearing it it's like um my first dubstep song was uh uh oh man i forgot what it was called. sierra leone okay by mount eden mm-hmm. sydney played that for me <laughs> and then i i would be at the gym and i was like what is this it was like it was like hip hop with no lyrics okay okay right it was like yeah, I should go back to Ashley now that I think of it. It's like such a sick sound. But anyways, so mm-hmm. like, I I was like, what is this style of music? I've never heard this before. And he's like, oh, Snoop Dogg's really into dubstep, because like, but it makes sense because Snoop Dogg's a rapper, right? So yeah. he's just listening to beats all day. Yeah, and he's just rapping over it. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, it's sort of yeah, like that's sort of like his training, right? You know. Right. And then now we have like these YouTube channels that are fully dedicated to like study playlists, and they're just lo-fi hip hop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it's fascinating because now that, like, it's fully demystified now in my mind. Because, mm-hmm. like, I feel like I feel like if, if you want to understand how something works in this world, you have to, like, just do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because then you'll, like, have the firsthand experience. Mm-hmm. So, like, cutting up these samples now and making my own, like, mini tracks, it's sort of like, oh, this is what you're doing just on a grander scale. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can hear it now when you're like listening to beats and you're like chopping it up. I used to do that with Photoshop. I used to like always look at this is how I got really good. I'd like look at something and I deconstruct it in my mind like what are the layers they're using? What are the effects they're using? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then now like listening to music, I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, oh, there's the loop. Okay, okay, there's the like 
there's the hi-hat that yeah. he added. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, you can film. now, yeah, you can pick apart the... Because remember when I started making, I had that one loop, and I was like, oh, like, what do I do with this? And you're like, oh, you just hide it. You just hide the break. Remember, you're like, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. add a kick drum on the on the break where it re- repeats right. so that we won't even tell. Oh, yeah. And then, like, if, if you listen to the original loop, it's like you can tell that it's chopped like there's a chop yeah but then i added all these layers to it it's like oh it sounds like one full beat now it's like yeah because i hit it yeah yeah you know that's the tricks those are the and, but they're all doing it and like <laughs> it's it's so fascinating to stuff like like lo-fi lo-fi beats right mm-hmm. so i was like well what's lo-fi and i've been watching like these videos and it's like lo-fi is just you you take the the high end off so there's so like you know like things are like mm-hmm. uh, like the treble you take yeah. the treble off so it's just low it's all low, so it sounds like it's underwater. Right, right. That's why right. it's lo-fi. Okay, okay, okay. Fascinating, right? It's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. it's just like these little, these little tricks, mm. you know, that put you into different things. Like one of, one of the other ones is like, oh, everyone's like, oh, you gotta get that eight oh eight, eight oh eight. And I was like, is eight oh eight like a drum, like pattern? You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I thought. And then like I watched a full video like on like what is an eight oh eight, and eight oh eight is like the kick drum. But it's a style of kick drum, right? You know, it's it's not like like real real kick drums on an actual drum set. They they echo, yeah, right. Because it's like you can't hide the echo. Mm-hmm. But like with an electronic drum, you can cut off the echo, so it's just like Doof. it's short. Whereas like an actual kick drum is like Doof, Doof, right, right, right. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, fascinating, right? Yeah, and then, like, cool. so like what this really gets me into thinking about is like what a pirate culture we grew up in Mm. you know what i'm saying like that's really like like even doing these like beats now it's like and then my photoshop tricks like it's like this is kind of the age of piracy but we don't really consider it piracy like streaming is a pirate thing right remember like downloading music was so like illegal yeah, yeah, and then yeah, they just yeah. made it a thing now. It's like, but yeah, we grew up in that age where it's like, if it's not online, mm-hmm. I'm gonna like if 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 you have to pay for it, I'm gonna find a way to steal it. Right. You know. Yeah. yeah that's true. If it's online, you know, like Kazaa and like Napster and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was so like normal. Yeah, I mean that shifted the whole industry, right? These things. And it had to like catch up. But what I'm trying to figure out right now, like personally, is like. Where did it? Oh, maybe it was the internet. Yeah. Right. Like, because yeah. when the internet started, that's when like you really saw piracy take off. Mm. You know, because like even like in terms of piracy, it's like having these like old style like like records with like like things that you yeah, would have yeah, not yeah. even expected were a song before mm-hmm. or like songs before. You know, like um, Maria Maria. There's this like Rihanna song now that's like. It's using the Maria Maria song from back when, like, the 90s when we were kids. Okay. And then, like, my cousins were like, oh, I didn't know that this was sampled. They thought they, that it was made. They thought okay, that it was okay. made new for this specific song. Right. You know? And it's like, oh, <laughs> that's, that's the world of illusion. If you don't know what, like, I feel like knowledge is the great equalizer. Because if you knew, then it's like, you know what they're doing. And there's no more mystique to anything. Right. You know? Yeah. Right, right. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's sort of like that um that like Bible thing where it's like uh, they got cast out of the Garden of Eden because of knowledge, yeah. because like when you're young and like you don't know anything, everything's like a magic trick, you know. Mm. But then like when you start to understand through knowledge what th- what's happening, it's sort of like the magic and allure is gone. Right. So then you have to refine that again in life. You have to find like where is the magic hidden mm-hmm. you know and that's like returning back to the garden of eden kind of thing i see you know mm. i made that up i i don't actually think that's like the actual interpretation but that's my interpretation of it oh, so okay. like yeah right right, right. That's i don't cool. know like um yeah what you were saying that your songs like eminem songs that you didn't know uh yeah i like uh, the, sometimes the because he did uh, sample like rock songs and stuff mm-hmm. so like it was like I think one time I remember I just listened to the radio I'm like oh that's the Eminem one then it's like oh it's not it's something else so I was right, like oh that's right. where he got it from like that was like uh, that was not necessarily a shock but more like a learning thing like 
Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Like, that's that's what he's doing. Right, right. And then it, like, gives validation to what yeah. it is you were doing before. Yeah. Where it's like you're remixing something. Right. And it's it's weird. The thing that I like about producers is that they're, like, solely built off their laptop. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they go into production studios, and there's all this equipment there. But then they just pull out their laptop. <laughs> and, like, that's all you're doing. You know, anybody could do it. That's what I... Um, I just watched this video. Yeah, all this, the like, ones that are on Genius, all he sees there, like, it's a great ad for Apple. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's actually so true, yeah. But th- see, that's the genius of Steve Jobs. It's like, <laughs> genius on genius. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the genius of Steve Jobs because it's like, he always wanted to make music, oh, no, make music, make, make creativity. Yeah. simple for people right? right he's like we shouldn't make technology difficult because right. how can you be creative yeah you know and like playing in garage band garage band is just like the younger version of um logic, uh, logic. Yeah. but then you get like other programs that we've tried which are so hard you know like fruity loops is so hard yeah. um but I these think... are like maybe like older programs that were structured around like old for sure totally so totally. it, it's sort of like final cut pro 7 or or 8 yeah uh, everyone like if you're into like creating videos back when i was like starting to make videos i was doing them all in imovie mm-hmm. right and then like everything was like oh you you're not an actual video producer unless you like cut them on final cut pro 7 or final cut pro 8 yeah. those were like industry standards right? Right, right and then final cut pro 10 came out and it was just imovie it's big brother. Right. You know, and it's like, but then people were like, oh, I don't like this. It's not, but I'm like, why are you, why would you want something to be so difficult? Like mm-hmm. what? Cause I've tried Final Cut Pro 7. I'm like, just simply making a simple cut and moving a video around is so difficult. Right. But like to do it in iMovie, uh, in, in Final Cut Pro 10, which is basically iMovie, it's like slice, drag drop, it automatically. Maybe it was it more of them being afraid of change, uh, change and losing jobs because now Maybe most people can. The, Totally. And and that's what they were saying with, um, I watched this other, it wasn't on Genius, it was on The Verge. This mm-hmm. guy was saying like, technology is a great equalizer because it's like, because so it's everywhere and it's so simple. Yeah. It's like, we're just really looking for talent now. Right. Has mm-hmm. nothing to do with your technical skill anymore. Mm-hmm. It's like, what is your creative level? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Huh. yeah like fascinating. So. Yeah. And like uh, this, the video I saw on like Genius, um, this this kid was in high school and it went like it's like a super viral song i don't i've never heard the song before but it was like super viral it's like this mexican song i don't, I don't know if you've heard it anyways he he was saying how he made that in his like class he had 10 he finished all his homework and he had 10 minutes left so he's like let me just make a beat right and then he sent it to this guy he's never met the guy <laughs> and then the guy was like oh yeah i'm gonna use the track and he's like all right cool and then that song like went world renowned. Oh wow! Like Wiz Khalifa was like playing it, and like all these other people were like playing it on their Instagrams because mm-hmm. it's so like catchy. Right. Like, he made that in ten minutes. Not well, he started in ten minutes, or maybe he did finish it in ten minutes. Um, I mean, sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes all this inspiration comes at you, and then you're just. It seems like oh, I just finished it in ten minutes, but it was like. You're right. in a zone. Right, right, right. It, it that that's true too. It's like this is what I tell uh, like everyone that like I'm working with like because they are they're always like oh do you work well in like fast environments or whatever or like like you know that like typical job thing where they ask you like those kinds of questions like Mm -hmm. so I always tell them like it's not really about the execution because I can execute really fast but it's like the creative process of thinking about what am I going to create? Yeah. You know, so like that kid might have done it in 10 minutes but he probably had that beat in his head already. Yeah. He just had to put it together now. Right. You know? Yeah. So it's like the whole creative process is not just like the actual production period, but like how long has it been? Like, like even mm-hmm. like looking at um, SoundCloud, yeah, and like oh, the last beat that I put up was like seven years ago. Mm-hmm. But then like, I was like, oh, my creativity level has gotten so much better that like the music that I'm making now is way better than the first stuff. Yeah, because it's like you're because it, creativity is just a muscle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with, like, your ability to use the program. It's, like, what do you want to create? Right. You know, like, what kind of eye are you using? hmm Yeah. Oh, it's, like, fascinating. Interesting. Yeah. And it's fascinating that all these people got, like, super big off of, like, sampling. Like, uh, like artists. Right, right. You know, like, a lot of the, the songs, like, 99% of the songs that you love 
are sampled. Yeah. You know, they're so, just like remixed. So who are the ones making those original samples? <laughs> like the 70s people. Like the yeah, people yeah, I know. 70s. And it's always yeah. obscure. They're always like, oh, I bought this $2 CD and it had like this like song on it. I'm like this $2 CD that nobody would have ever listened to, mm. but you listened to it so I, looking okay, for samples. Like when I, uh, when I had that one program that had samples on it and I was like, wait, I didn't make this. So I was like, Cheating. I'm cheating. I'm like, that's what I felt like. Yeah, I was like, but it sounds cool. But it's like, totally. Do I get full credit for this or? <laughs> no, no. They actually they pay. They have to go. No, back no, no, and no, pay no, for no, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. But it's like, no, you're paying for the samples already, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure. So there was a. I was. Were you watching it with me? But like the Biggie one, where they created the song and then they called the artist and they're like, "Hey, we we need this track for our song." And then like they kept getting refusals, like uh, Puff Daddy, like. He asked for it. They said no. Then this like huge yeah. record producer asked for it. They said no. Mm-hmm. And then like they're just like, all right, screw it. We're just gonna create recreate it ourselves. You know. Uh, so like sometimes you actually just can't get the sample off. I the see. rights to the sample. Right. Right. But it makes sense now. Like when you watch those videos, when they go to like old record stores, they're going to old record stores listening for samples that they can steal. Mm-hmm. Right. Know? Right. Right. But see, like I do that stuff all the time for like Photoshop too. It's like. I'll Google something and I'll be like, oh, I like the way this looks. I'll take this piece from it. Yeah. And then like, I'll find another thing. Like a lot of the logos that I make are just like layers. Like they're just like edits Mm -hmm. using other images. (laughs) You know, I'm not actually drawing anything out. I'm just like taking pieces and like moving them around. Mm. You know, like you download a font from defont.com. You know, you're like, all right, that's free. And then you're like, oh, this one looks cool. All right, let me put like a slash through. Like, that's how I made the God Light My Fire, like, um, banner. Yeah. I just took a font, and then I was like, okay, let me make it look like I cut through it. So I took, like, a, a line, and then I, like, deleted that line from the font. But now you think, like, oh, he drew that or something. It's like, no, I just, I, like, went to defont.com, got the free font. Right, right, right. You know? <laughs> but that's, but I'm finding that's actually what they do in business world, too. It's like, that's why I'm, like, being so agile and good in it. Because, like, everyone does that. They all, like, take from something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, no one makes. Even those promotional videos, you just look for license-free music, and then you cut a promotional video. Mm-hmm. You don't have to pay anyone. The only the only downside is those tracks are trash. But, <laughs> yeah, like, it's yeah. free, so it's like, okay, well, I'll just use it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Interesting. Eh? Yeah, it is all interesting. I, I, but I feel like... I wonder how many people even knew about that. Like the sampling stuff. And that's that. what I'm saying. That that's why I thought it'd be a really cool topic because it's like, like you're you're being you're demystifying the mystical at this point because you're like you're like wow that looks so cool. It's like no, there's actually a lot of ordinary in that extraordinary, mm-hmm. you know. But then you have to go back to the fact that that ordinary was extraordinary. You know right. what I'm saying? Because it's like it's like oh that looks so cool. Actually, it's done like this. Like you're seeing how the magic trick works. Mm-hmm. But then you have to go back and appreciate the fact that you got fooled by that magic trick and here are the ways to do it. Right. You know? Yeah. And I feel that that's what makes like a really resilient, creative, capable person. Mm-hmm. Somebody who's able to be like, like, okay, that's the issue. Let me figure out how to fix it. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think that's like a special breed of person that's like, willing to look into like like i feel like that's dying like this whole piracy thing like this whole like kind of generation it's like Mm -hmm. going away or maybe they're just like i'm not associated with it anymore uh piracy generation Uh, like like uh creative problem solving let's call that it's not really piracy but it's like creative problem solving by any means necessary it might be just like but we but something else new will come out, right? Like, For sure. But it's like it's like know. if you're if you're born with technology, you don't have to understand how to relearn how to use technology. I, yeah, there will be some part of that. Maybe it shifts to like 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 b- because there was such a shift during our time. It's yeah. like okay, you better learn how to use technology. Whereas like our parents are like, I don't understand how this works, <laughs> right? Yeah. But then like, but like in this generation, they've become like the plateau, just like our parents were. You know, then something new will come along. It's like, then they'll have to relearn it. But like at this point, there's nothing to relearn. So it's mm-hmm. like you don't understand how to learn. 
Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. People are like lear- losing the ability to learn how to learn. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I because uh, there's always new technologies. Maybe there people will. True. Yeah. That's also possible. I, I also heard this uh, at DEF CON. This kid hacked the Pentagon in 12 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's like 12 years old, 11 years old. Yeah. So there's like chance still possible of that happening, right? True. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It's an interesting world. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see where we, we go with it. Mm-hmm. I guess the biggest takeaway is like learn how to learn. Because at that point, you can learn anything. I think if you learn your learning style, you'll be better capable of learning how to learn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because like, <laughs> so, like, this actually came up like, last week somebody was like trying to explain something to me like how what they need solved and i was like okay hold on like let me just grab a piece of paper and a pen they're like oh no no it's on this excel excel spreadsheet and i'm like no no but this is how i figure it out and they're like oh okay cool and then by drawing it out myself i figured it out right you know here's the solution right but it's like by learning how i learn or what works for you yeah. that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah. right then it's like no i, I can't I can't understand what you're saying through like saying I need to like visually see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Right. That that's like the skill you have to like figure out like what works for you, right? Yeah, it's like a lot of self awareness stuff, you yeah. know. But I've done those quizzes before too though, so it's like mm-hmm. those like, what's your learning style? Right. Yeah. Anyways. Let's go on. Next week we're gonna see any final thoughts on sampling? No. I'm Do you think a... they're legitimate? Yeah. Okay. Because you're still, you're not like, they're, they're still manipulating it. They're still changing it. They're still yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, doing things that make it sound cooler than the original sample. That's true. That's so, true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stamp of approval from Vish. <laughs> I don't know if I would call them musicians. I think, like, the rapper's a musician. I think they're just, like... Producers. They're yeah, just producers. Pro- but that's their name, right? They are yeah, producers. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating. Yeah. Um, yeah, so next week we're going to go to uh, Fan Expo again. Went last year. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of good art there, so I'm pretty stoked about that. So we'll probably do a podcast on Fan Expo. Sure. Yeah. All right, so get out there download some pirated programs and start learning Mm because this stuff costs money (laughs) actually garage band's free so yeah i mean start 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 with free stuff yeah yeah that's what i did that's true yeah yeah Yeah. because it's like that that's the biggest question like where do you start then there's there's all these free alternate programs like uh photoshop's got gimp yeah uh fruity loops the one i tried was uh lmms garage band's free um Mm -hmm iMovie's free, so yeah. if you want to like edit movies, iMovie's basically Final Cut Pro 10. A lot of these free versions have like a Big Brother with just more features, yeah. but like the interface is the same. Yeah, I've noticed too that all interfaces are pretty. Like if you know what you're looking for, all interfaces are generally the same. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, because like I was, because I've like worked on like a lot of like websites, so I understand how like interfaces work. And then, like, somebody asked me, like, oh, I need this, like, design made for this page. And I'd never used the program before, but I was like, okay. And then, like, I did it for them. And they're like, holy crap, this is, like, amazing. Mm -hmm. But it's like, yeah, just because I know where to go to find this stuff. You know, it's like, okay, I need to swap the header image. Where is it located? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I was reading this, uh, (laughs) the Heart of Kendo book. And they're saying, like, it's all about learning the principles. Because from that point, you can, like... Well, the fundamentals, I, I translate it as the principles. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. like, learning how to learn is a is a principle or a fundamental because then you can take that with you everywhere. Don't get, like, caught up in, like, the little, the little things. Yeah. Just look at the bigger picture of, like, what's really going on. Right. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. Okay. then what are you going to do if they introduce an update? You're screwed. You know, you're like, <laughs> right? And they're like, oh, the interface totally changed. And it's like, okay, so just figure out where everything is. But the the thing you're trying to get to, you know, don't look at the roadmap. Look at, like, the mm-hmm. the destination or whatever. You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Take it easy. Cool. Be creative.
Peace.